All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Let me just get right into it. Nico's scared. Now, Nico may not be physically scared of Valentina, okay? But Nico's scared that she's going to get beat. See, it's a difference. It is a slight difference, but Nico know what's up. See, we had a very, very interesting live stream, and I'm going to call it interesting, okay? See, the reason why I'm going to call it interesting is, you know, you can't win a debate against me with emotion and opinion. It's just not going to happen, okay? See, one thing I know about being in the Lions Den boxing community is that we know how to debate, okay? And I done debated against some of the best. I done debated against Dream Chase in boxing. I done debated against Ticket TV. I done had, like, little sparks up with, with Black Fight Fan TV. So, see, you know, debates, that's in our blood. That's what we do. So you, you can't come to me. OK, you, there's no way that you can come to me with any opinion and think that you're going to defeat defeat me in a debate. It's just not going to happen. OK, I'm doing too much and I'm studying too much and I got too many stats in my brain, you know, for you or anybody to come and defeat me. And I'm just saying that. OK, the fact is, look, and I want you all to get this. OK, really understand what I'm saying. Do you have see if they send a contract to two people? Do you think that they intend for one person to sign a contract or two people? I'm, I'm going to keep this very simple. Do you think that they intend for one person to sign a contract or two to sign a contract? And would they send a contract out to somebody just to have it sit on their desk? I mean, what? I mean, don't, in the purpose of a contract is to get signed. I mean, I'm pretty sure that when anybody accepted their job, you signed a contract. The contract was in writing. Now, I mean, I don't know the people that was offering you the job. I mean, would they like it if you didn't sign the contract? I mean, would they like it? I don't know. I don't know if they would like it. Who knows? OK, nobody knows if, if, if they would like. But I, I would think they'd be unhappy. OK, me, I, I would be unhappy if I gave somebody a contract and they didn't sign it. The person that I subleased to, I gave her a contract. If she didn't sign the contract, I wouldn't have been happy because we wouldn't have had a deal. Same thing goes here. Guys, this this thing is so easy. It's so easy to dissect and debate that it's not even debatable, really. It's one answer. The girl didn't sign the contract. Valentina signed. Nico didn't. I don't understand. But see, I know what it is. See, I'm starting to come to realize now. And, and for this channel to be only 6,000, man, this, this channel is a small fry in this big frying pan of MMA channels. This, this one of the smallest one. But but I, it's just, I don't know, maybe it's fun arguing with me. Maybe it's just fun because it seems like whatever view that I take, just certain people just take the opposing view. And I know some people think that, you know, or, or they act like they for you, man. They act like they for you. But really deep down, they not for you. And, and you know what? That don't even bother me either, okay? The fact that, you know, a person really don't don't like seeing my channel grow, that, that's fine. Or people don't like seeing it. That's, that's fine, too. See, I, I, I'm a big boy. I got a thick skin. See, all that's nothing. But see, when you come with a debate, well, that's, that's something different. You're not going to beat me in a debate. It's just not going to happen. It's going to be tough for you to dissect me in a debate. It's just, no. See, I may even get animated. See, I, I'm, I, I learned all the little tricks. But every time, there's going to be a fact. See, I always tell y'all, listen to every single word. Listen to every single word. That's the first rule of psychology. The first rule of psychology is to listen to every word and read every word. And when you read and listen to every single word, then the truth will present itself to you. But you have to listen and read in order to see the truth to be presented. Nico done already showed me what's her agenda, man. She done said it. She done wrote it. The girl pretty much all but telling you, I don't want to fight Valentina right now. She's already said it. She's already said it. She said it back in November. <laughs> well, no. OK, when they first when they first know, she said it back in January. She said it in February. She said it in March. She said it in April. And she said it again in May. She's already told you what she wants to do. But see, this comes, it, it becomes logic and reasoning now. It becomes logic and reason. Like you have to, you know, you, you have to be under, you have to look. You have to be observant. And some people think, well, he got that country accent and he ain't observant. But let me tell you, 
When people talk, I'm listening. When people talk, I'm listening to every word and I'm recording every word in the back of my cerebral cortex. I'm recording every single word. And then you know what I do? Then I do a counter. I counter it. I counter it. It's very rarely. Now, I have an opinion when I'm just doing a random video, but in a debate, now nah, I'm going to have very few opinions. I'm going to have very few opinions and I'm going to have an opinion, but it's going to be based on facts that, that I can support with evidence. A debate, you, 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 it's just not going to happen. I'm not calling anybody out with this. Well, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm calling out one more person. Now, this video, okay, and I want y'all to look at this. Now, I made this video, okay? I did this video with Janae Hollow Point Harding, okay? And lo and behold, you know, a lot of you left some great comments. And I mean, you know, this is, the views are pretty good for these interviews because, you know, I mean, all the points, she's a good fighter, but she's not very well known. So to already be, you know, almost into a day and, you know, almost 200 views, that's actually pretty good for one of these, you know. And, you know, I would love to see this video get over a thousand views. I would love it, you know. But uh, just for me putting it on YouTube, you know, and I think I put it, uh, I put it on a couple other places, but not many places. And this video is already almost at, you know, 200 views. And that, that, that's good for these interviews. OK, and I want to keep it going. But, you know, let's just go down. Let's just go down and read. See, we always got a hater and I'm calling out this one hater to a debate. OK, I'm calling out this one hater and we already know who it is. Y'all know who it is. OK, it, 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 it's Mary. See, Mary, let me explain something to you. OK, and I'm going to just go down and just pretty much debunk you right now. OK, I'm just I'm, you know what? I'm going to put the napalm bomb on you of debunking. OK, because I, I know how to debunk. Um, first of all, OK. Yeah, three and four. See, it's always you that's got to say something negative. You know, first of all, the girl started fighting, what, when she was, what, 18? She started fighting when she was 18. So, of course, when you're that young and you're just learning how to fight, she's only been fighting five years. I, I, I want to tell you that first. She's only been fighting in MMA, mixed martial arts, in any capacity for five years. She's, she, well, she's been a pro for almost two and a half years. That's not a long time. OK, but we're going to get through your points. Not a long time. But see, you know, Mary, if I Google your name and if I Google her name, who do you think is going to have more stuff on them? See, it's always the people running their mouth that they, they don't have nothing going on. They just want to go ahead and just, just talk junk about somebody who's trying to go get it. OK, but let's go down. Let's debunk all this. OK, and I got love for Mary. Mary always do the I'm Mary, I'm finna call you out. OK, now she says if Paige Van Zant had been three and four, you know what would be said about her, top dogs. <laughs> well, let's see. Now, Mary, we already know why you're throwing that in there. I know why you're throwing it in. I know why you said Paige Van Zandt. But see, here go the thing. Mary, why didn't you yeah, go debunk number one? Why didn't you say anything about the other fighters that I get on? Why didn't you say anything about Jermaine Durandame? I mean, why not Jermaine? I, I get on Jermaine Durandame a lot. Why not Misha Tate? You know, I kind of get on Misha Tate. Holly Holm, Amanda Nunes. Why you didn't say nothing about them? No, let me take Misha Tate and Holly Holm out of there. I'm going to take them out. Amanda Nunes. Okay. Amanda Nunes. <laughs> Andrea Hill. Okay. Why didn't you say those fighters? Oh, I know why you said Paige Van Zandt. I know exactly why you said Paige Van Zandt. And I ain't got to leave it up to the imagination, Mary. See, you tried to throw that in there. That's debunk number one, okay? Right. Now, you know, Janae's a featherweight. Nobody she's fought is even good, never mind a top dog. So is Megan Anderson not good? How you going to explain that? Is Jesse Rose Clark not good? How you going to explain that? Jesse Rose Clark is good. See, you know, I, I, I got to have you live. I got to have you live. I got to have you live so I can just take your heart and rip it out of your chest. Because that's what I'm going to do. Got to have you live. You know, and I gave her an interview because she's an exciting fighter and she's young and she's actually getting better. What are you doing, Mary? If I Google your name in, what am I going to find, Mary? Am I going to see any of your bouts, Mary? No, I'm probably not. Maybe you don't fight. Who knows? If it had been Paige, it would have been a different reception. All the fighters I get on out of all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's make a laundry list. Why you didn't say Nico? I get on Nico all the time. Why you say Nico? No, 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 no. See, you know what you try to do? See, you tried to make it seem like that. I'm going to throw shade at the blonde girl. 
I know that's what you was getting at. But see, Mary, you don't fool me, okay? You don't fool me. And, and let's do this right here, okay? Now, you talked about Jesse Rose Clark, okay? You talked about Jessica Rose Clark. When they fought, they were both bantamweights, moron. They were bantamweights. How you going to explain that? See, let me tell you something. Janae could never make it. She could never be a flyweight. She started out as a bantamweight. And Jesse Rose Clark was a bantamweight. Go do your homework. I got to have you live. Okay, I ain't trying to hear all that. See, and I'm going to tell you, you, you can try to debunk, you can debate all you want to. I mean, what? Me and Janae, we already talked about this. Off camera. She was a bantamweight. And she couldn't, she barely made the weight. Jesse Rose Clark was a bantamweight. How you going to explain this? See, Mary, people like you, I get that you got an opinion and you always got one. And, and, and that's fine. I like opinionated people. But see, when you try to pull that mess right there, I got to call you out. Oh, I got to call you out. And the reason why you mentioned Paige Van Zandt, because Paige Van Zandt was the blonde. It's really convenient how you didn't mention Nico Montano, right? It's really convenient how you didn't mention Amanda Nunes, right? Nah, you ain't mentioned them. Of course not. See, Mary, that don't fit your narrative. See, you're not going to get over. The coach too smart for that. The coach too smart. And you can come on and try to debunk whatever. Look, I got to have you live. First of all, for a girl that's three and four, she's 23 years old. She's signed by Bellator. So, hell, evidently, Bellator sees something in her, too. Because Bellator just not going to sign you. Scott Coker not signing people just because he like them. He's he not doing that. He's not doing that. You, you know what? You know who Scott Coker signed? People that he believed that can fight. This girl can fight. And every victory she's had, she's knocked them out. Now it's up to her. She's got to get her skill level up. But homegirl getting better every single fight. Stop. You're debunked. And anything you try, I got to have you live. I'm done.